shoulders and your eyes and your functions. So I'm going to pull out three separate cards here, okay? I want you to keep your eyes closed. This is going to test your intuition. Keep your eyes closed. Now this is a part of the eye exam, so keep your eyes closed. I have three cards in front of me. One of them is a star. One of them is a diamond, and one of them is a triangle, okay? So we have a star, a diamond, and a triangle. A star, a diamond, and a triangle. I'm going to mix these three cards up, keeping your eyes closed. Use your intuition and guess which one is first. Now, keeping your eyes closed, let me know which of the cards is in front of you. Is it the star? Is it the diamond? Or is it the triangle? Guess in three, two, one. Great. If you guessed diamond, you would be correct. Very good. We have two cards left. We have a star and a triangle. So continue to use your intuition. Keep your eyes closed, okay? Which one is in front of you now? Is it the star? Or is it the triangle? Take a guess in three, two, one. Good. If you guessed the star, you would be correct. Now that leaves one card left. Now which card is in front of you? Is it the star, the diamond, or the triangle? Which card is left? Is it the star, the diamond, or the triangle? Take a guess in three, Your intuition is working perfectly. Amazing job. Now, this next examination is with a Snellen's chart. And what that is, it's a set, a card, or a template that has letters on it. And I'm going to tell you three letters, but I'm going to be pointing at one of them. Without opening your eyes, I want you to guess which letter I am pointing at. Are you ready? Let's begin. So we have the letters E, we have the letters L, and we have the letters T. I am pointing at one of the letters, and I want you to take a guess which one it is. Is the letter E, L, or T? Is the letter E, L, or T? Take a guess in three, two, one. If you guessed T, you would be correct. Moving on to the third line. We have the letters F, we have the letters P, and we have the letters H. I am pointing at one of the letters right here. Which letter am I pointing at? F, P, or H? The letters again are F, P, or H. Which one am I pointing at? Take a guess in three, two, one. If you guessed H, you would be correct. Very good. Moving on now to the fifth line of the Snellen's chart. We have the letters D, we have the letters H, and we have the letters J. I'm pointing at one of the letters here. Which one am I pointing at? Am I pointing at D? Am I pointing at H? Or am I pointing at J? Take a guess in three. If you guessed D, you would be correct. Very good. And on to the last line of the Snellen's chart here. We have the letters L, we have the letters T, and we have the letters F. Okay? And I'm pointing at one of the letters here. Which one is it? Is it L, T, or F? Which letter am I pointing at? Is it L, T, or F? Take a guess in three, two, one. If you guessed L, you would be correct. Very good. Your intuition is spectacular. But remember to keep your eyes closed. I'm watching you. Yes, keep your eyes closed. Otherwise, this might ruin the results for the examination. Perfect. Just keep your eyes closed. Great job. We're going to move on next to an olfactory sensory nerve examination. I have a set of essential oils in front of me that I'm going to be testing you on. And keeping your eyes closed, I want you to guess what essential
essential oil I am going to be putting right under your nose, but you must keep your eyes closed and not take a look. So let's begin. We're going to start off with this one first. And this one smells amazing. I'm going to put this right under your nose, okay? And what essential oil do you think that is? Keep your eyes closed. It smells like flowers, perfect. Like tea, exactly. And exactly like a spa. Perfect. And what do you think this could be? Are you guessing lavender? Perfect. You guessed a floral spa type smell. That was lavender. Great job. Keep your eyes closed. We're going to move on to the next one now. This next one is one of my favorite essential oils. You're doing great, by the way. Just keep your eyes closed. So this one is very unique. I'm putting this under your nose now. And what do you think this essential oil smells like? Yes, like mint. Very good. Any guesses? This one's a bit easier. Yes, mint. Perfect. This one is peppermint. It smells like mint, but a bit sweeter. Kind of like a herbal tea. Great job. You're doing amazing. Let's move on to the next one now. This is yet another essential oil that I think is fabulous. This one helps me go to sleep. So you might feel sleepy after you smell this essential oil. So... I'm putting one under your nose now, so please breathe in and breathe out. What essential oil do you think that is? What does it smell like? Citrus. Perfect. Like fruit. Great. And what do you think this could be? Orange. Fabulous. This is the orange essential oil. You're doing spectacular. Please keep your eyes closed and let's continue. It's going to get a bit more difficult now. The next one I have here is stunning. It smells fabulous. This one also helps me go to sleep. So, we have one under your nose now, so just please breathe in, relax, and breathe out. And what does this smell like to you? A bit floral. Good. A bit herbal. Good. A bit like tea. Exactly. And a bit like something that you would, yes, something that you could see yourself relaxing to. Good. Any guesses what this could be? There are no incorrect guesses. Perfect. This one actually is chamomile. And this one's a bit more difficult because it just smells kind of like a flower, but you're doing fantastic. Chamomile it was, though. Very good. We're going to move on now to a different one. This is the next one now. This one is very strong. It reminds me a bit like cologne. So I'm going to put this next to your nose. Okay. And what do you smell? Any guesses are great guesses. Okay, so something a bit like lemon. Very good. But a bit more like herbal. Great. And it reminds you of, yes, a bit like a perfume or a cologne. This one's interesting, so what do you guess? Maybe lemon. Great. This one is lemongrass. It's quite often used in perfumes and colognes as a secondary smell because it has such a strong aroma. It reminds me of a lemon sitting by the beach side. Yes. We're going to move on now to another one. And this one. Oh, it's fantastic. I love this one. So, do not take a look. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. I'm watching. This one is a bit more difficult. And what would you say this one smells like? Okay, like something from the outdoors. Perfect. And a bit like medicine. Okay, any 
more guesses. This one's a bit more difficult. Okay, so this one is tea tree. In my opinion, it reminds me of a type of tree bark. And I think it smells really natural in a very good way. You can also use it to treat dandruff. And on to our last one now. This one might be a bit easier for you, so we're going to end it off on a good note. So, yeah, this one's fabulous. So, I have the last one next to you now. Keep your eyes closed. I'm watching you. And what do you think this one could be right under your nose? Very minty, yes, but a bit different. Okay, what does this mint have in different with the peppermint that you smelled prior? This one is a bit more, yes, of a strong essential oil. Good, any guesses? Mint works well too. This one is a eucalyptus, and eucalyptus is a mint, but it's a bit of a stronger mint smell. In fact, it quite reminds me of a spa, because it has that really relaxing smell, and that is your olfactory sensory examination. Now, keeping your eyes closed, keeping your eyes closed, keeping your eyes closed. I have a bottle that we're going to put right on your tongue and we're just going to apply a little drop, a little droplet and in this bottle the solution could either be very sour or very sweet and it's up to you to tell me which one this is. Is it very sour or very sweet? Keep your eyes closed, keep your eyes closed, keep your eyes closed. And if you could just say, ah, I'm going to place this right onto the tongue. Good. And say, ah. And then just go like this. Good. And what does that taste like to you? Very sour or very sweet? Yes, very sour. Correct. You're doing fabulously. So keeping your eyes closed, you are also able to assess that that was very sour. Amazing job. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of a color assessment, okay? So, I have four palettes in front of me. Four palettes in front of me. And I'm, they are green, pink, orange, and purple. Green, pink, orange, and purple, okay? Green, pink, orange, and purple. That's what I have in front of me right now, okay? And for this color assessment, I want you to let me know which one you think I am putting in front of your face, keeping your eyes closed. This is a secondary intuition examination, so let's begin. We have green, pink, orange, or purple. So the first palette, so the first palette I am putting right in front of your face right now is this one green, pink, orange, or purple? Is it green, pink, orange, or purple? Let me know in three, two, one. If you said green, you would be correct. Very good. You're doing amazing so far. On to the next one. Which one do you think is in front of you right now? Keeping your eyes closed. Do not take a look. Is this one pink, orange, or purple? Is the one in front of you pink, orange, or purple? Is it pink, orange, or purple? Take a guess in three, two, one. If you guessed purple, you would be correct. Great job so far. And there are two that are left. There are two that are left. Which one am I showing in front of you right now? Is it pink or orange? Is it pink or orange? Take a guess in three, two, one. If you guessed pink, you would be correct. And then using your intuition and keeping your eyes closed, what palette, what color is in front of you last? Take a guess in three, two, one. It is orange. Amazing job. Now, this is just an intuition test. I put them nearly in the exact same order as I said that they were. I only switched one of them up. I switched the purple for the pink. Great job. Now, what I'm going to do is a 
sound assessment test. In front of me, I have these things called tuning forks. And I want you to let me know if the sound is loud or silent. Loud or soft. And you will be able to tell if it is a low sound or a high sound. Let's begin. Keep your eyes closed. Do not look. And were you able to hear that? One more time. Let's begin. And was that a low or a high sound? Low. Very good. And let's move on to another one now. Keep your eyes closed. Is this one a lower sound than the one you just heard or a higher sound than the one you just heard? Let's repeat. Is that a low or a high sound? Okay, that one is a bit of a higher sound than the last one. Great job. Let's move on to the next one now. Keep your eyes closed. Let me know, is this a lower sound than the one you just heard or a higher sound? sensory part of the exam. It seems that your ears 
send you this information but we're going to have you just relax have a great night's rest and then we're going to re-examine you in the morning does that sound good for you just keep your eyes closed and i will just take care of the rest of the examination room and you can just rest and relax but remember 